Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Colonel Sanders is so hot. I, I just so found hot. this. I found this so funny, and I figure the world is so full of bad news. Let's talk about something ridiculous and unnecessary, but hilarious. Colonel Sanders is finger licking good. He is. Uh, we're going to talk about the Mario Lopez hashtag recipe for seduction. They're going to do a, uh, a series of these, I believe. A drama, a steamy lifetime drama starring hot Colonel Sanders. Hot Colonel Sanders, mm -hmm. Mario Lopez. Not that I find Mario Lopez hot. But a lot of people find Mario Lopez hot. Well, I think they're basing it kind of like on those, you know, like those, you'd find them that the, the Spanish channels would have like yeah. these, these dramas that were like, you know, over the top, but like everybody would get addicted to them because they were just so like soap opery, but like times 10. I think it's like that. Uh, yeah, I know Pinky Boo was watching. I believe it was from from India. They had some goofy. Oh, movie she loves that, to watch those. Uh, Bollywood movie. Yeah, she, she was loves watching. Them. She and, watches a bunch of them. And like the the girl gets sad and she looks down. All of a sudden, it just starts like dumping rain. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't a gradual build up. It just started raining on her. Mm -hmm. she, she was, was like, sad. that was out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that and talk about how this is not the first time that KFC has made Colonel Sanders hot. Mm -mm. So before we get into hot Colonel Sanders with Geeky Sparkles, mm -hmm. uh, Geeky Sparkles better not get into hot Colonel Sanders. Uh, before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 150,000 subs. Thank you for the support. And also, I want to point out that uh, Geeky is doing a toy drive I am. Yeah, she's trying to help underprivileged kids get toys this Christmas. This is our uh, storeroom in the studio, and it's full of toys. All those boxes are divided up. Yeah, there's we have what was Angel Tree, and they call it, uh, I think, Treasures for Children now. Yeah. But uh, we live in an area that... It doesn't do well financially on a good day, on a good year. And yeah. this year it was worse, obviously. And there are still a lot of kids left in the tree. And I'm trying to get as many of them as I can. Um, and if you can't help with this, that's fine. You know, just see if there's something around locally in your area that you can do. Yeah, yeah. You know, help in your area. You know, donate some food or donate some time. Or if you can do an angel tree in your area yourself, please, by all means, go do something to help others if you can. Uh, yeah, and if you want to help, I'm going to put a link in the comments. Go down there and you can go to Geeky's Etsy shop. All proceeds from sales in her Etsy shop will go to buying more toys. I'm going to try to add some more stuff. I have I have a bunch of stuff pre-made here. Okay, so. okay. So we're doing what we can do. There are, again, there are a lot of kids in need this year because of the economy not being good. Um, so here we go. We're going to talk about Mario Lopez being cast as Colonel Sanders. In I, I love the write-up. Mario Lopez has been cast as Colonel Sanders in A Recipe for Seduction, a new Lifetime movie that promises mystery and foul play. I love some of these reactions. I know, it's I like, know. Okay, so here's the original Variety uh, article we'll talk about. Colonel Sanders' next KFC commercial is also a steamy Lifetime drama. Uh, he's getting his own show. Uh, Mario Lopez will star as the nation's best-known fried chicken spokesman in a steamy Lifetime mini-movie that hinges less on the chain's secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices, more on dysfunctional family dynamics and forbidden love. And while on the Lifetime program, a recipe for seduction has all the hallmarks of one of the A&E-owned cable outlets' high-drama pot boilers. In essence, their 15-minute commercials for the Yum! Brands restaurant. Okay, this is not a new thing. All right, I want to go back there. We've talked about this before. So uh, Disney has been doing this as well. Other places have been doing this as well. The new thing they're trying to do now, instead of just putting a commercial, because that's not enough. No, no, they're trying to make these uh, brand sponsor content mini movies, mini episodes, whatever you want to call them. So basically, they're trying to promote the brand as a little movie instead of just a commercial you're going to skip past. This way, they figured they'll engage people more. People find it funny. They'll find it interesting, and they'll watch it. And then hopefully they'll go out and buy, you know, KFC or in this case, it was Mars Halloween candy. Yeah. Um, so that, that's their new thing they're doing. And they're dumping a shit ton of money into these uh, so that they're, they're making these little, it's almost like, uh, was it Quibi? Um, oh, yeah. God, it's yeah, almost Quibi. like that. But, you know, they're using it for commercials. So it's just a commercial. It's a crummy <sighs> Commercial. It's a commercial. Drink your Ovaltine. Oh, we could do a hot Ovaltine commercial. We should. That'd be funny. Let it dribble out of your mouth. 
chocolate Ew. goodness. It's not, not really hot. chocolate, it's malt. That's not hot. That's disgusting. <laughs> I have a drinking problem, but I'm so hot for you right now. No, if you talked about how it was dribbling down their, your this girl's chin onto her chest and it crossed her, you know, I'm not going to continue. Yeah. But that would be that would be considered hot, not, you know, it dribbled out my mouth all over my shirt. Oh, baby. So here's what KFC had to say. They said, we always want our brand to show up in interesting and unexpected ways. Because everybody else is doing it, frankly. Right. Uh, KFC said in a prepared statement, the KFC and Lifetime mini movie event is a perfect way to bring fans a fun opportunity to enjoy the holidays with family, friends, and loved ones. KFC... KFC spent more than $195 million on traditional TV advertising in 2019. Um, so recipe for seduction is just the latest ingredient in oh my a God. long simmering stew cooked up by Madison Avenue to foil the increasing disdain the average TV viewer has for traditional right. commercials. This is not new. They've been doing this. They've been saying it. Streaming video venues like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Um, they're talking about that, but they actually were using these commercials on Hulu. Part of the Huluween was this Mars bite-sized Halloween thing. Yeah, they even do it on Saturday Night Live. Squeak King was telling me that Saturday oh, yeah. Night Live does. <laughs> not the way they want it. Not the way they want, but they, they actually take sponsorships. But, I mean, this isn't new at all. You go back to the very beginning of television. And so many shows were brought to you by so and so brand. You look well, at that's Christmas specials. Though. I mean, and, yeah. this isn't just brought to you. They're making the whole the whole thing about it. I want a crazy Ronald McDonald show. I want it to be like like a, a horror uh, drama or or Mac Tonight. I love Mac Tonight. We're, we're dating ourselves. Yeah, we are. Uh, will we date each other? But yeah, no. Uh, Mac, tonight, he was, for those of you who don't know, look it up. It's it's Nightmare Fuel. He was the uh, McDonald's moon face mascot, played the piano. Um, and uh, he was kind of like Stevie Wonder with a moon head. Well, they need to, they needed to bring him back. They do. And and then do a talk show. With with Mac tonight. Yeah. And then oh like with, with special guests. like And bring back the McDonald's characters. I want McDonald's land. Damn it. They I had the McDonald's pop land. finals and they were like really popular. Bring back like, you know, you know, Mary McCheese and the Hamburglar and Grimace and stuff just for the show. Just for me. And, well, yeah, just for Neon, but just for the show and do commercials about your the McDonald's and stuff. But they probably won't because they seem to be going away from that and trying to make it the new Starbucks or something. <sighs> yeah, that's what they're doing because, yeah, McDonald's isn't fun. Ever since the Arch Deluxe debacle, McDonald's has gotten less and less fun because as a kid, they used to have all these awesome characters. Now, they got sued by the HR Puff and Stuff people. Uh, I guess that's what happened to Mayor McCheese. So and, maybe that's why they don't see them anymore. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Lopez is also starring in another show called Feliz Navi Dad, <laughs> uh, a network holiday movie that premiered last month oh, and will God. follow the KFC drama. Uh, Recipe for Seduction will continue to be available on the MyLifetime.com app. Yeah. Okay. So, through a terrific cast and with a wink to the unique sensibilities celebrated in Lifetime movies, this co-production spotlights each brand's point of view and marries them in a fun and authentic way, said the marketing executive. Okay, so what's um, that mean? It's like the family buckets fa featured in this episode and, you know, those those bowls or whatever on another one? I don't know. Look, at these are some of the other ones they've done. Okay, so Warner Media did a six-part reality yes. series called Growing America. It was co-produced by Holiday this is, They've been doing this. I mean, it's been going on for a while now, but the last couple years especially, they've been ramping this up. Mm -hmm. I covered this already on that article for, um, not this one particularly, but this whole move to do this, I covered on the Pirates and Princess article. Because I was like, what? Arby's in 2014 released a 13-hour commercial talking about how it smoked brisket. Okay, but that's not very, I mean. That's not interesting. Hot Hot Colonel Sanders is is a little more They made like mini horror movies for the uh, bite-sized Halloween, Halloween thing with the Mars candy promotions. So they found, they're trying to make them more interesting and more like you're going to watch this because you're going to be amused. You're going to be into it. I want to see, I want to see them, again, back to the McDonald's. Because in Japan, they do these. Uh, I, I guess they were spooked. I thought they were legit McDonald's commercials, but they had, you know, Ron McDonald like stalking this woman. And that was like, flipping hilarious. And he's like under the bed. Oh my God, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like you missed your opportunity. It was big a couple of years ago. Pennywise was huge. You could have had the Ronald McDonald no, version of Pennywise. They won't do that because that would be brand damaging. They will brand not do that. Damaging. Who they cares? spent years building up Ronald McDonald to be the, you know, and they have the Ronald McDonald House charities. They do not want to make him a scary clown. I, I can I back McDonald's on that choice. I know I know that's what you wanted to see because you're messed up. But I completely uh, you know support McDonald's and their choice not to make him, 
you know, the clown from it. I'm going to clog your arteries, lady. <laughs> yes. I'm going to clog them real good. Uh, finger looking good dating simulator. Uh, yes. You guys played this yeah, on the well, gaming channel. We chain. started to. Yeah, it was, it was something. So I'm going to put a link to that. There are actually, we do have a Clownfish TV gaming channel. A lot of people don't realize we have it because we don't even have 10,000 subs on it yet, but we do play games. And, and Geeky and Squid King and Pinky Boo were playing uh, the KFC dating simulator. Yes. Again, another uh, another attempt at trying to, to reach those kids mm-hmm. with hot Colonel Sanders. because they're all on Twitch. Yeah. They need to be on Twitch. <laughs> They need to make hentai with Colonel Sanders. No, they do not need to make hentai with Colonel Sanders and a bucket of chicken. <laughs> tentacle chicken. Tentacle chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. Hot Colonel Sanders like versus the ten- tentacle chicken. There's like a, that's not a tentacle monster, but there's like a monster, like a, a monster in this thing. And Wait, it's, it's a tentacle monster? I don't, I don't think it has tentacles, but there's like a monster at the end. Hold on, let's find it so you can find it. Oh, that's my... Oh, oh there he is. He's kind of got tentacles. He's got he's got utensils. It looks like an angel from... Like a bad meatball angel from... Uh, or is that chicken nugget? It's, it's like... Fork. I don't know what it's supposed to be, spork. but it's like... It's it's a sporkinator or something. Spork like monster. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Oh, my God. That's Okay. That's okay. Hot Colonel Sanders. Pot pie power pinch. Pot pie power pinch, baby. <laughs> he's uh, he's ready to lick your fingers good. All right. So um, there we go, guys. We just thought it'd be fun to have something funny for a change because Lord knows the world needs more humor. Yeah, right. Um, so we're going to wrap it up? Yep. Wrap it up. Put it under the tree. Mario no, Williams. we're not putting it under the hot, tree. Hot Colonel Sanders. At least make sure you ever put holes in the box. I'm pretty sure you can get arrested for that. What, kidnapping Mario Lopez? Wasn't that a movie where they kidnapped Mario Lopez at Christmas Oh my gosh, it was. It was a good one. Holiday in Handcuffs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. It's a clean movie. I'm pretty sure it's called Holiday in Handcuffs. I could be wrong. It, yeah, it was uh, Sabrina. Uh, uh, yeah. Melissa Joan Hart. Yes. And I she kidnapped Mario Lopez. I want to say it's Holiday in Handcuffs, but I, can't, I could be wrong. But it's one of those, like, you know, Lifetime type movies. Well, probably is Lifetime. He's got, he's, he seems to have, like, a good relationship with Lifetime. So... Oh, God. Okay. Well, I guess it's probably going to be more entertaining than Saved by the Bell, which doesn't look very good no. on Peacock. Um, anyway, we're going to yeah. wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe. Yep. Talk to you later. Talk later. <laughs>